another day, another door. But where's this? Well, we're in Edinburgh today, and we're at the far end, the west end of Waverley Station. This is the Waverley West power box, a signal box built by the LNAR in 1936. And what a space it is. Looking out across the station throat, this is a category B listed signal box. It's of special importance and it is fabulous. You'll see this, of course, if you come out here on the, on the west end of the train, going out towards Glasgow. But look at this over here. This old signalling panel, never been used. Put in there as part of the decommissioning process, because of course, this was decommissioned several years ago. Operations are now down at the east end in the modern power box. But this space is now disused. It is empty, but it is a cracking space with a view right across all of Edinburgh Waverley's West End and up there up to the, the monument. What a great space this would be. Every building deserves to be reused and reused for something good. This could be a cracking cafe. You didn't think I'd keep it simple, would you? <laughs> I can't just do one single box. Here is the other box at the other end of the garden. Not much now, just a bit of a dead space. But there's a, a diagram on the wall here, look, showing where we are. Here we are, Princess Street Garden. So yeah, that's the box we're in now at the far west end of the Scottish region. 1976, September 1976, that's it. So, gives you an idea of when this was kind of last being used to any degree whatsoever. But look, this is now all blocked off, not used at all. That's because everything is now centralised, a far area, more efficient. But this building is still here. Look at that. What a super pair of signal boxes. Now, I filmed that with the team at Waverley a couple of weeks ago, and oh my goodness, it was so cold. But I'd been told about that main box overlooking the station threat by several people at Scotville and the Railway Heritage Trust, so I had to go and see it for myself. And you know what? It's a really interesting one, because a lot of people will be wondering why it isn't being reused. Well, Below that floor is actually modern signaling equipment and outside there are high voltage power wires for trains which aren't ideal for running right past your windows. But it is hoped that if all parties can find a way and if it makes sound economic sense, maybe, just maybe, that old building could one day be re redeveloped and find new life as a cafe or restaurant with a view and a half. Now if you know of a disused historic railway building still owned by Network Rail. And I must stress this, that you've got a sound business plan to use it as a business or community project. Then do look up a superb organisation that's part funded by Network Rail. It's called the Railway Heritage Trust. And they do often make grants available to refurbish and restore the historic railway estate. So just visit railwayheritagetrust.co.uk for more information.